Hey, Sam here, co-founder of Life Secrets Off, where we teach young, motivated professionals how to fast track their careers using the skills we should have learned while we were in school, like communication, body language, and storytelling, instead of learning how to build a contraption that safely drops an egg from a four-story building without breaking it. I mean, the only eggs that I want to break right now is into a hot skillet with some bacon and avocado on the side. Sounds good, actually. Right after this, I'm gonna make some breakfast. But let me get this rant out first. So, five ways you can make yourself speak like a leader. Now, some of you know I worked on cruise ships for the past five years, and I give presentations weekly to about 500 or so guests in a theater at noon while sailing to the Caribbean. I don't know if you've ever been on a cruise before, but there's an all-you-can-eat buffet, drink specials by the pool, and a gorgeous sunny sky outside. It can be a little bit difficult to keep people's attention for an hour. If you think it's hard to keep people's attention during a business meeting, try keeping people's attention while they're on vacation. So I learned a thing or two about speech writing. And what I learned was that words are just words, unless you breathe some life into them, breathe in some passion. Unless you phrase things properly and structure your sentences, unless you use repetition and list to ensure understanding, they're all just words. All right, so here we go to make it easy for you. Five ways to speak like a leader. Number one, three breathless sentences. If you want to instill fear or excitement or energy, look left, look right, look center, or past, present, future. He came, he saw, he conquered. Grab the attention, use emphasis. Number two, three sentences with a repeated opening clause. Some examples you might have heard of, Winston Churchill's, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight on the field, or Martin Luther King's, I have a dream speech, or JFK's, ask not what the country can do for you. And salespeople use it all the time. It's not 50, not 40, not even 20, but $15. You have to remember to balance your sentences. If you don't want to do this, instead do that. Or they say eat apples, I say eat oranges. Number three, metaphors. The most powerful piece of oral communication. We use metaphors every 16 words, but they're normally not very effective. Think about an image or an idea that you want to paint. Paint this picture with your words. If you want to draw people towards you, think beautiful images like sunshine and puppy dogs and beaches. If you want to scare people away, then use words like monstrous, disease-ridden, vermin. Number four, exaggeration. I was so excited to make this video that I could barely sleep last night. Or, I've been waiting to make this exact video my entire life. I've poured my heart and soul into my work. We all naturally exaggerate, so when you're looking for an added emphasis, don't be afraid to just stretch it out a little bit. How many times have you said something is hilarious? I mean, do you know the definition of hilarious? It is extremely amusing, into hysterics, or uproarious laughter. So, uh, no, your neighbor's story this morning probably was not hilarious. I mean, you just wanted to make them feel better. We use exaggerations all the time. Number five, rhyming. Ever since Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, we found truth in rhymes. Although it may sound extremely silly, our brains are hardwired to search for rhyming sentences. Long words and complex sentences are difficult for our brains to digest. So short, easy to remember rhyming verses, they're easy to understand, so we automatically search for those. I mean, think about it, it starts as a toddler. One, two, buckle my shoe. Then in childhood, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And even as an adult, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. So our brains, they're emotional. They like to take the easy route. We've heard powerful speeches, and we make those associations without even knowing it. 
And when you break it down and look at writing an impassioned speech or a sales pitch, or simply fine tuning your stories, keep these five factors in mind. They'll make your words easy to follow and provide a structure that guarantees that you sound like a leader. That's all for today, and I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. If you did, click subscribe and click on the link below to check out our blog for even more remarkable content and unlock your inner awesome to fast track your life. Ciao for now.